All right, so I'm going to talk to you about what you have to do for your writing test. So it's called Enlightenment, Romanticism, and You, and here's the prompt. Both the Enlightenment and Romanticism are historic eras, but it is false to say that these ideas do not exist today. It is worth considering how the ideas present in both the Enlightenment and Romanticism integrate with your beliefs, values, and the choices you make in your life. Read and carefully consider these perspectives. Each suggests a particular way of thinking about where you belong in regards to these movements. So, perspective one. I belong to the Enlightenment. I value logic over following your heart. I'm interested in science. I think about the good of the many over my own personal needs. Perspective two. I sometimes belong to the Enlightenment and to Romanticism. I think there are times for logic and times for following your heart. I'm interested in science, the supernatural, and legends. I think about my own needs and the needs of others. Perspective three. I belong to Romanticism. I value following... Oops, sorry. Ah, uh, that part shouldn't be in bold. I value following your heart over logic. I'm interested in the supernatural and legends. I think all people should focus on their own needs. Complete the graphic organizer about if you belong to the Enlightenment, Romanticism, or both. In your graphic organizer, be sure to clearly state your own perspective on the issue and analyze the relationship between your perspective and at least one other perspective. Develop and support your ideas with reasoning and examples. Organize your ideas clearly and logically. Communicate your ideas effectively in standard written English. Your perspective may be in full agreement with any of those given, in partial agreement, or completely different. Um, for now, just stick with those and maybe don't try to go off in your own direction yet, uh, just in case. So this is what your ACT writing test will look like. Um, and so what we're doing now is we're like practicing for it, but I'm not actually going to have you write it in the form of that of an essay. Instead, I'm just going to have you write it on this graphic organizer. So if you end up not having enough space in a box, like if you could just type it small or whatever, um, or if you feel like you need to work on a blank document, please just label everything so I know that you know and it's also very clear to me where each part is. So the first thing you're going to do is write the perspective that you want to argue, that you think is true, and be sure to only use a part in bold. So you'll write, I belong to the Enlightenment, or I sometimes belong to the Enlightenment and to Romanticism, or I belong to Romanticism. Okay, not the second one. That one was a mistake. So then you're going to tell me three reasons why you think this is true. Um, although you don't have to use these, these are like, you can use, like, it'll help you out. So if you think this one is true of you, you would say, like this could be your reason about valuing logic. Um, if this is your reason, you could say this reason um, or part. Like you could say there are times for logic and then another reason could be times for following your heart. Um, or you could keep these together and then that would be fine too. Um, you, This one, one of your reasons could be that you value, value following your heart. Um, so use these. To, for your reasons, okay? Right in here, the descriptions. Um, and then your examples, I want a specific example from your life to support reason one. So if you tell me that you value following your heart, tell me about a time when you followed your heart, okay? Um, you need to not be vague. You need to be as specific as possible. If you have to make something up, if you want to make something up, you can, it doesn't have to be true. Then what you want to do is you want to explain why this shows this, why this supports this, why your example supports your reason, okay? Try to have it be more than a sentence. Um, it, the explanations are worth two points each, so I'm not looking for like a really simple sentence about this shows that I value following my heart because like Key. That's good, but keep going, okay? Um, next, so you're going to do the counter-argument. So, um, you're going to write a different perspective here. Start your sentence with this. Some people may argue that I belong to Romanticism. 
or I belong to the Enlightenment, or the middle one, which are one of the ones you didn't do here, okay? Why might someone think this of you? Okay, again, using the reasoning provided in the boxes, it's there to help you think of reasons. Um, and then why are they wrong? Why is it, like, why is that not relevant? Or why is it not as important as your argument? Like, yes, that might be true in one situation, one time, right? But overall, not true of you. And then you're going to think of a second reason why someone might argue that using what it says up here. Um, and then you're going to explain, same thing, why that reason is wrong, why they're wrong, why that's irrelevant, or why it's not as important as your argument. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and then just submit it when you're done.